Uh, the Hyundai Appreciated RK Archives line. For the past 10 years, Hamster Corporation has been releasing Japanese arcade games digitally on modern platforms. Most of the time, they cater to Japanese tastes. So that means many games they put out are obscure to Westerners, who all want nothing but Simpsons, X-Men, Robocop, and WrestleFest. I'm going to show you some of my favorite games from the arcade archives line. Here we go. Splathouse needs no introduction. They're basically a Jason Voorhees lookalike trying to rescue a girlfriend from evil monsters. This is notable for being one of the very first ultra-violent video games. Lots of gore in this one. As Korra, this is basically a spooky version of Kung Fu Master. Highly recommended. Do you like Sunset Riders? Well, you're in for a treat. Mystic Warrior is actually the spiritual follow-up to Sunset Riders. It's a better game in every way possible. Instead of cowboys, you're a bunch of ninjas fighting an evil terrorist group. The soundtrack is absolutely incredible, typical of Konami back in the 90s. So if you're a fan of run gun shooters, do not pass this one up. AK XXX is basically Konami's answer to R Type. Just like an R Type, you got a cool ass ship with a weird looking pod that protects you in combat. This is a visually stunning game, and it has beautiful music to boot. So if you love Gradius and R Type, give Orias a go. Whatever you do, stick with the Japanese version for this one, because the North American version sucks. Trust me, it is night and day. Here's one beat em up only two people heard of. This is Zero Team. It looks like yeah, no Final Fight wannabe, but you're a bunch of ninja badasses. One of them is a female ninja with a really big ass. All the bad guys explode in this. There's more explosions than a Michael Bay movie. So if you love cheesy beat em ups, this is definitely for you. Here's yet another cool shmup. This is Cybattler. One of the better games Jellico made. This is a top-down shooter. It looks like a Gundam game without the license. Unlike most top-down shooters, you can shoot in every direction you want. And you got a cool-ass beam sword like a Gundam. So yeah, if you love shmups and you're a mecha fanboy like I am, this is a no-brainer. This one's definitely a lot of fun.
So these are five of my favorite arcade archives games. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you love. And yeah, that's me holding some Xbox 360 hidden gems. Oh, I'm rich. Ka-ching!